Hello everybody, this is Prince Mass, and welcome back to the last episode of Super Mario DMC 5. In the last episode, we beat uh, Virgil for the second time as Nero, and everything ended up being good in the end. Kind of left on a satisfying ending, and still somehow kind of a cliffhanger. We don't know if Virgil and Dante are going to get out of hell. Uh, they will, by the way, because uh, that's just how this is going to work. <laughs> that's going off of exactly no knowledge or, or like reference or anything but they they will you just trust me um so welcome to the bonus episode for dmc5 there's a couple of things i want to show off not not a whole lot necessarily but uh i'll see what i can do there is a whole bunch of stuff here so yeah pretty much uh i'm not gonna read every little bit because, uh, uh, because if I were to, it would take a really fucking long time. I will, however, kind of, like, go over little bits and details about things that I forgot to mention, uh, as well as, you know, you can, you know, just, you, you can, you know, pause and see what's, uh, what all the, the, in the, what is it, what all the entries are talking about. That's what I was trying to say. Switch your variations first because that's good. Good. Whole bunch of cool shit. Yeah. So yeah, if you're trying to get a good look at uh, whatever mod you're trying to roll with, the gallery is a good way to do it. It's obviously a lot of versions of Nero, so that's cool. You don't see this one armed one very much, but uh, it does exist. And I just realized that those have their own, uh, you know, entries, so I'll just, yeah. So yeah, um, Nier with the Devil Trigger is a whole idea, a whole thing, because like, he could supposedly have an SDT <clears throat> that we just haven't seen yet. Oh, sorry. Slightly different awaken or slightly different Dante is the awakened one. The only real difference here is that well you get to see which sword he's carrying, so that's cool. But more specifically, is there a zoom? Yes, there is. He has longer hair and a little bit of a stubble going on, which clips through this DMC one jacket a little bit, but that's fine. I'm not really a big fan of a lot of the Devil Trigger uh, forms for any of the characters, actually. I like the SDT, but that's because it's kind of an inoffensive design. But like, regular Devil Trigger Dante for basically all the forms except for DMC1, uh, I don't like at all. I believe you can start seeing the crystal 
this on its face. Yep. That's good. <laughs> There's only two versions. There's a lot of crazy, neat little details with all the stuff going on. statement. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I figured not enough people showed these, so I just kind of like to go through with them. Something I didn't mention in the last couple of parts, too, when discussing the Virgil uh, potential DLC or special edition, was also that uh, there would be a whole bit. There's uh, there's actually text descriptions or some sort of like hidden files uh, that talk about uh, the names of the characters. Like, not specifically the names, but the names of like weirdly selected titles. Uh, one of them I remember uh, is called Ladies' Night as a DLC, and then something else I don't know exactly remember, but Ladies' Night is a big one because it would basically lead to a uh, Trish and Lady DLC. <clears throat> Which would also be neat because, like, there's not really enough going on with those characters either, really, despite them being armed and having their own playable versions in, uh, the MC4, actually. And two for Trish. Okay. So I'll go through these ones real quickly because they're just enemies. Wow, that's not good. Okay. Yep. They bug. There's enough time for you to get anything that you want to watch here for the, you know, the things. Entries. I still can't find the word for those for some reason. All the Impusas have, uh, skull faces, by the way, if, in case you haven't noticed. Which is only moderately terrifying. I, I, I apologize, I didn't go all the way down on that one. to get every little detail whenever they're clapping so furiously. Yeah, it's 
So yeah, in case this is for some reason the first video you watch of the series, uh, the Death Scissor is a reoccurring enemy uh, that also appeared in DMC1 uh, called the Sin Scissor. The Death Scissor was another enemy type that uh, functioned kind of the same but had its own little details. <clears throat> Interestingly, they kept uh, how the Death Scissor works in this game. So the Sin Scissor is basically entirely accurate, aside from the parrying mechanic. So yeah, this is a whole thing. I was reading that first bit there. Uh, so the Angelos from this game specifically use the same uh, like fragments, basically, as uh, Nello Angelo from DMC1, especially the Proto. More so, I would believe, with the Proto, because he just kind of looks the part, you know? I really expecting Behemoths to be more of an issue uh, than they ended up being for me. Also another DMC1 reference monster right here. All the bells and whistles intact for how they work pretty much too. Aside from you can also pair their mask when they put it on. Alright, that covers the enemies. Oh, sorry, the bosses. strategy kind of with the, uh, interesting that I can't flip behind him. Weird. But, uh, yeah, with this thing, uh, recommendation that even the cutscene gives you is use fire on it, so just using, uh, near as exceed ability. So, Artemis, uh, has a little bit of detail with him, too, with her, I guess. Uh, it's actually a demon gun in DMC3 that you can wield as Dante. Oh, yes, and it's mentioned here, too. I forgot about that. There's other characters being mentioned, too, if you can, if you care to read up on, uh, fucking Artemis' thing. Michevelli's genius, Michevelli, I don't know how to use those words, yep. <laughs> Which has never made an appearance as far as I know other than this game. Uh, and by appearance I mean like, you know, has uh, an entry in any, or is mentioned in any way. shield instead of calling it wings. Interesting. Still like one of the best fights in this game. Super cool. Uh, so yes, also Gilgamesh is a 
uh, a pair of gauntlets in the MC4 that Nate wields, which in when referring to the lore of this game, it's actually a demon metal is Gilgamesh. It's kind of interesting. Oh yeah, there were bosses for that one thing. Okay. These count as bosses whenever they're all fucked up with the big face. Crazy. Big hand and crazy mask. Mirage characters, they look awesome. Yeah, with the, with all the, the flat lighting, Goliath looks kind of super cool here. Cape is doing weird things. <laughs> My dice. No, that wasn't cut up. Again, this thing moves so much it's hard to get every individual detail, but I guess you've probably seen this thing plenty, so it don't matter that much. One day I'll be able to fight Cerberus and not have to worry about it. Their tails are coiled together. Weird. They have their tails too. Also, oh, those spikes aren't, like, having any blood coming from them. Probably did at one point, but they don't do it anymore. Cerberus is a DMC3 reference as well, by the way. Okay, we have several versions of yours in here. This is uh, an interesting cutaway from him sitting on his throne. The throne is not actually rendered. Um, that is how it's intended. And uh, it just looks kind of weird and neat. And Yep. <laughs> Standing here. Oh, that armorless here is in here. Can actually get a back look on the, the original standing here so. Okay, so Virgil. This one actually has, you know, a couple variations to him. Um, a very subtle mod that you notice that I probably don't have is actually uh, Virgil's EX costume. As you can see here, whenever he has the cloak on him, it's a different costume. That's his original. I modded it into where it just gave it to me uh, right from the get-go. Jet wing hand things. Crazy. It remarks this as being his DT. Which is interesting. He might not actually have an SDT and more just like a, prefer a perfected DT. <clears throat> okay, weapons. These are gonna be cool. Oh uh, yeah, because they're all modded. <laughs> so yeah, the engine combustion rev sword, uh, which here is a devil sword Nero. It's pretty cool. Belonging to uh, the order of the sword first, a finished, sorry, a finished version. Uh, specifically made for Nero because of him being the captain. Blue Rose, special gun given to him by somebody. Does it say? Nobody. Breaks through armor first. You start his body. <laughs> cool. Yep. This is also modded. It's Blue Rose, but with more blue. Uh, Mentioned that a couple of times, but you know, it's hard to see otherwise, so I'm, I'm showing it off here because this is a very subtle and very pretty mod. I like it a lot. God damn it, I keep doing that. <laughs> Let's look. Hold on. Can I get the. Yes. Okay, so the blue rose has a different blueprint. You can tell, you know, who belongs to who with the blueprint. I don't know where the hell he got blue rose. I don't think that's ever going to be, ex like, explained. This is all her stuff. So I'll show off the blueprints real fast because those are cool too. Because I will forget otherwise. Very cool. 
I'm aware there's also a whole bunch of other uh, breakers that I haven't used, so yeah. Demon, a random demon analog at the bottom. That's kind of cool. Okay, good name. Okay, let's go through this. Everything. This is good. Yep. Interesting. Uh, Ebony and Ivory doesn't have a unique. Uh, what's it called? Uh, blueprint. It just kind of looks like a generic gun blueprint. Because if it's something like this, it should be a little bit more special, you know? Because it was made by. Uh, Beast King, which has a demonic uh, blueprint on it. Interesting. Okay, sorry. We'll go ahead and continue with the breakers now. <clears throat> These are also cool because you can switch the variations on them too. No effects, but that's fine. Let's see the me mechanics going off on them. Big exploding hand. Fail to skelter. I like how the back face is the one that has the red on it. It makes it look really cool. Then they all flare out. Doesn't seem like it'd make a very effective drill for piercing guards, but it does seem uh, really fucking terrifying. Punch behind. I'm not sure if the knuckle blades were immediately like necessary, but I'm not complaining, I guess. <laughs> so, uh, this is a Gerbera, except for not really. Look at that ugly texture at the bottom. Uh, this is Nightmare, a, a DMC1 gun that I modded in to make it look like it, because, uh, yep. Oh, shit. It looks good. The model looks really good. Gerbera transformed. Uh, yep. Damn boy. This is a lot of people's favorite, uh, Devil Breaker. And if not their favorite, then quite a powerful one. Uh, I have not used it. I will go over it here in a little bit because it is something unique. It is a whole ass breaker, so I probably should, you know, talk about it a little bit when the time comes for it. <clears throat> Rawhide I also have not used very much. Uh, I just don't really have a use for it. Pretty good. Uh, a bit of a subtle thing with it is that it can actually upgrade how long your snatch technique goes for on both of your grabs. So, uh, if you do need a reason to use that, that is exactly one. Time manipulation from Darian. Uh, the rack time. The clock actually works. I think that's kind of cool. actually counts up. I'm not sure what that kind of, uh, like, that bulb timer thing is called, but I think it, that aesthetic is super cool, especially making it bright blue. <clears throat> Good old Buster on. I'm glad that they, that eventually you did get Nero's old kit for DMC4 back. Because if it was just the Buster arm, I'd be having these around a lot of the time, and I think it would be super annoying. Given that breakers, you know, explode if you're taken, or if you, uh, get hit with it, you know. Quite a bit more intimidating when it's all popped out. <clears throat> Alright, that is Nero's, we'll get to Dante's. Slightly less of this, but still pretty big. This is Alistair, which is supposed to be Rebellion, but it's Alistair, because, yep. Good sword. Lightning sword. Double sword Sparta, which is true, but this is from DMC1. You can see that it has the Force Edge in it, actually, which is a neat little detail that was in DMC1. I thought that was super cool. 
as well as uh, what I can only assume to be like the amulet, the uh, the amulet, sorry, that transforms Sparta in the middle of the weapon, <clears throat> or maybe on the back. I don't know. I always assumed it was a big one in the middle, but you know. Go sword Dante. Can I switch the? No, there's nothing to switch on that one. Go sword Dante, which doesn't look any different except for I gave it the variant that makes it look like Force Edge because that makes a little more sense, more sense to me. Look like be a lot less annoying to hold on to because normally they're pointed down. <laughs> Beowulf, but it's Balrog. Also, human fingers are stuck in the gloves. <laughs> yep. Beowulf from DMC3. Pretty good. Hold on. Okay, we're good. Cavalier, which didn't get enough screen time, honestly, but that's fine. Not a really complex weapon. I hate to split them off, though. Ooh, look at those tires, fuck. <laughs> Ow. Crazy. I want to see somebody make that in real life. That'd be kind of cool. I like the energy surging through the Cerberus on this one. Sadly, you can't see him in all the elements. I would like to see that. There's <clears throat> a couple of Easter eggs on Ebony and Ivory, as you would, you know, assume. Let me see if I can... Red Grave by 45 Artworks. Yep, 20 Red Grave, the moniker he went by. Also, these are 45 caliber, apparently. Um, the guns that they did are modeled after, uh, after kind of just knowing about guns for a minute. Uh, they actually kind of resemble uh, really big 1911s, which make me think that they're particularly large. Uh, like first edition 1911s. So they're not A1s, they're like the, the you know, further back in time ones, which would kind of make sense as I am led to believe that uh, Dante's been around for a whole minute. I don't know how long, but a really long time. I really, I find it funny that, uh, what the fuck? Uh, Nico kind of craps on the entire design of a double bar double barreled shotgun with the clips, but I I think that this entire design is just super intelligent as a shotgun, like a break action shotgun. If only because of the cool factor is now uninhibited because you don't have to reload, you can just keep flicking it back open and close. God damn it! And like that, I don't know. That's super cool. This is modded too. It's supposed to look like a DMC one styled one. I've always had this on, I've never taken it off. Kalina Ann. I didn't even get any time to read it, sorry. Yep. Lady's Gun, from her appearance in DMC3. That is, she's always had this on her because why not keep a giant, you know, ordinance on your back at all times. Kalina Ann 2. Which functions identically from the first edition Queen Anne, but you know. And then the twins. And I'm linked together. Which also fire a linked rocket, interestingly enough. Crazy. Collector Files. Modded this to make it look black. I think it looks way better black. Super cool. It, uh, something that I don't think the detail actually mentions is that, uh, there's a Faust finger wrapped around it from DMC4. The, 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 the enemy Faust is a reference to it in, in any case. Particularly, you know, unique about Reese Kane. 
as far as I know, there's not anything really denoting it being super unique or anything. It's kind of just, you know, a neat little cane made of something. Mostly demonic, I would think. Or maybe not. Who knows? It might just be a cane. Okay, item reports. I'll go through these real fast because they're boring and stupid. Very cluster. I'm not even going to do the model thing because you, you can tell what's going on. One more, more cluster. Blue orb, no cluster. Purple orb, no cluster. Gold orb, no cluster. Hatchling. reports, which these just go and tell you the, uh, thing. Like, all, all the, it's just looking at the, the menu for all the characters, which we can get into. Toy reports. Uh, some of these are stuff that they don't immediately tell you. There's a, a couple of very little, like, things that just don't ever get a tutorial. <clears throat> Weird little details. Nothing super important ever. These show up more, uh, well, the, rather they show up in general whenever you're doing, uh, you know, your first playthrough, because otherwise they don't appear at all. Sure is a lot going on. I'm only really just showing this off because, you know, unique art. We will take a look at Morrison's letter because that's important. Secret mission. Stylish ranks. Cool. The Void. An unknown unknown. I think it's because I didn't buy the, uh, three million orb things for the characters. Okay, so we have Morrison's Letters, which I won't read, but it's, uh, you know, it's a whole thing. Even more of this unlocks as you go through the game. Dante's backstory that kind of covers uh, events during and pretty much just before the DMC anime, actually. Which is supposed to supposed to be a whole uh, beginning another one, as far as I know. But you know, Obviously DMC3 stuff, and then, you know. Super cool. Just like, the best part about this is that so much of this you can actually go through and play or see and watch. And it's like, I don't know, it's just cool.
good shit. <clears throat> Carrie, who we don't see at all in this game, she does not even have a model, uh, is either fiance or girlfriend or wife to Nero. Patty is an odd reference, but I think is super neat, is uh, the character who is kind of like harassing Dante over the phone in like the first time we see the we see him in his shop. Uh, another reference to the DMC anime. <clears throat> cool, cool. Dark Knight Sparta, which I mean, if you know anything about DMC, you, you've heard you know this name a lot. So, <laughs> Clifford, we know plenty about the Clifford at this point, <laughs> or maybe not. I'll be fair and say that I haven't read everything about this, but, <clears throat> you know. Old Man's Diary. This is a neat thing. I'm not actually sure who the uh, the boy here is, whether it's Virgil or Dante. I'm assuming Virgil because book, but I'm not actually sure. Fortuna, birthplace of Nero and his home, effectively. Okay, art, which we can go through really fast. Very good. Designs of the characters here look strange, like more, hmm, I don't know what the word would be. I'm getting tired. <laughs> there is Virgil's DT, his original DT, what it was supposed to look like. This is SDT. Oh, look at that Devil Breaker. Super weird. Do I have all the art? I figure I do. Yeah, okay. It really does put into perspective how much work they put into this game in general. Like, I don't know, just crazy. Curved Proto Angelo sword, that sounds awesome. Okay. Yamato. Looks 
kind of small in this picture. DSS. Exactly Dante's Lake, basically. You can see it transformed there in the corner. It's pretty cool. This is, these are obviously the designs of it in uh, AMC5. Slightly crooked Force Edge cross card. That was your face. Kalina Ann's. Crazy, they have to, they actually explain the whole turning process, like transformation process of the gun. Those are what the summon swords normally look like on the right, by the way. And you can understand why I'm so confused why they look like that. <laughs> Connector for the breaker. I wish I could translate what any of that says. Not like it'd be super interesting, I bet. Just kind of super on the nose. This is what this does, you know. But, I don't know. Super cool. Weird overture designs. <laughs> oh, you're tomboy. Skinny tomboy. That sword is held super low and I don't like that. <laughs> Lego? <laughs> hmm. fast again because we're going through a lot of art. Whee! What the hell is that? Oh, that's a Nero in the distance. I like how stylistic the concept art for this game is, though. Like, it doesn't have to look like this. They could have gone for more, like, I don't know, more boring designs. It would have been fine. Now, they got, like, a world-class artist to make all this shit, and it just looks super good. Alright. The orb is... The orb designs, in case anyone cares, uh, is never consistent. <laughs> Mix of evil. Cool. Alright, so... Sorry. Oh, cutscene. Uh, in case you wanted to see the cutscenes. The jukebox. So, the jukebox is interesting because you can obviously play uh, all the songs for the characters here, and you can even set the character songs if you want to. Hold on. There, guys. Yeah. I except for I'm gonna do the four one. Yeah, because that's just better. On my PS4, I switched Dante's one to this one because that uh, just makes sense to me. Stylish voice. Um, Nero's. No, sorry. Dante's is the only one that's different, I believe. Like, the, the stylish rank uh, for Nero, I know, has uh, Nico talking to him and doing all the things and, you know, make fun of him and shit. But I believe it's Morrison's voice actor that is doing the unique stuff for uh, V and Dante. I might have it reversed for V, I don't actually remember. I just like to keep them all different so that it's, you know, keeps kind of fresh. The title voice I always keep on. Uh, these all, I believe, are deluxe edition things that you can put on. So I keep the title screen announcement thing on because that's cool. Every voice actor has, like, a, has the chance to say the title of the game. That's just cool. Because sometimes it does really weird shit, like fucking Balrog or, uh, like... I don't know, Griffin or something, and it's, I don't know, this is pretty funny. Okay, 
<clears throat> so that pretty much covers everything from the super extra secret side of stuff. Uh, what do I want to do now? We'll go into the void in a minute. I want to do exactly one mission that will take no time at all. So, um, what other things can you look forward to whenever you beat the hardest difficulty in the game? Well, uh, the only thing that I can say now that is available to you is Heaven and Hell mode and Hell and Hell mode. Uh, Heaven and Hell mode, uh, because the loading screen's taken a minute, I'll just spoil it outright, is a mode in which you and the enemies have one HP. So the entire time, uh, you can just, like, sink one bullet into an enemy and it just instant kills them. This goes for enemies, for bosses, for fucking everything. And we're gonna do the super characters too because the super characters are things I can also show off here. We'll just fucking do any of them, I don't really care. Um, in specific, there is a reason I want to do the prologue stuff though because, uh, yep. <clears throat> So obviously you can go through the entire game if you want to to do heaven and hell mode and it's uh, entertaining and funny because like nothing will just like survive your in the just completely benign damage of your gun. I mean you can try to fight normally but you're gonna go through everything and then one enemy is gonna blindside you. So we'll just go ahead and get into it then I guess. Dante. So, the super characters, um, for, well, all the characters, works a little bit differently for each one. Whoops. Delayed inputs, and I can't seem to get up here. Alright. So, all of the, uh, characters seem to work a little bit different with their supers. Super characters essentially mean that you have infinite DT, uh, or at least hyper-regenerating infinite DT. Um, that's the baseline that is established for all the characters. No. So I can just activate this at any point that I want to. I'm in DT. I will never get out of it. That's actually not a curse on my meter this time. I literally just cannot get out of DT. There I can, but it won't force me out. For Nero in specific, it means that, uh, after a certain... I trust no. you. Uh, I was gonna say after a certain time the FMJs reload. No, that's not true at all. <laughs> you still have to manually charge the gun, so, which is you know whatever. You're getting infinite DP. This is a cheap character. <laughs> uh, you also have access to um, just a permanently exceeded Red Queen the entire time you're playing this super hero. This is super energy. Yeah, the enemies don't have a chance to uh, even it'll come at come at me. So yeah, we're just fucking stomping them this time. The ores on the top there indicate how many chances I have uh, to go through the game, like. To go through uh, the mission, sorry, the current mission that I'm on, I have three chances uh, before the game kicks me out, and you cannot revive using red orbs or gold orbs. This is what I meant by not having the ability to uh, to use orbs, and that I'm not technically wasting them in the difficulty before. That is the time to use those orbs. Super characters are fun. Uh, the only thing about them that is kind of a drawback, and this barely counts, is that uh, when your characters are super, you do not have access to the healing factor in Devil Trigger. So obviously I can't show them this Dante. difficulty, because that, it don't matter. But uh, that is normally the drawback. If you're trying to do something like Royal Palace, um, with some of the characters, it's arguably better to not be a super character in Royal Palace, because you won't be able to survive by using your, uh, DT. So we're just gonna go ahead and two-shot, uh, yours in. And he is two-shotable because, you know, his crystal blocks him, but we're just gonna... Yep. 
<laughs> so yeah, you can actually kill Urizen in this prologue chapter, and I almost have a, a number of times. <laughs> Super weird. Super, super fast credits. <laughs> I love this shit. You know what's even better, is that, better though is that this actually does count as completion for the uh, thing, for the uh, mode. So if at any point you come across like a difficulty like where you're getting like basically if you're trying to to beat the game super fast and get the end game unlocks like the post game unlocks for whatever reason and skip out on the rest of the unlocks for your first time playthrough uh you actually can win if you just try hard enough <laughs> obviously if you're ng plusing it it makes it way easier that's how i got almost close to doing it on my second time running through this game on my pc so yeah, I have to skip this. Okay, thank you. And it's gonna give me a shitty rank because I yep, see the characters. What was the 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 amount that it went down? Super character point two zero. Okay, no continues is a lot. No damage is so much. If you perfect it, it's so good. All right, cool. Continue. Uh, which I think is just gonna, it might kick me out to the next mission, but it might just kick me out to the menu. Hopefully it kicks me out to the menu. Alright, cool menu. So, <clears throat> oh look, there's Griffin. <laughs> nice. So, uh, what, so, okay, blah, 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 I'm tired. Heaven and Hell exists, you've seen what that's about, it's like that for the entire rest of the game. What is Hell and Hell like? Hell and Hell is terrible. <laughs> Enemies are actually knocked down, not to the hardest difficulty, but to the, the second hardest difficulty, Son of Sparta mode. So they can't activate DT, um, but they're not one-shottable. They are relatively strong, and most of their enemy placements are still pretty bad, pretty dickish. Um, you are still within one-shot territory, <laughs> which is actually the worst thing. <laughs> So, what can I show off here? Uh, yep. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and do that. We'll show off the breakers I have not yet seen, really, in any of the, uh, you know, things. I should just go to customize would be a good idea. <clears throat> The game. Okay, so breakers, equipment, edit. So uh, this is my non-standard. Okay. So we've seen enough of all of these, except for rawhide and tomboy. Which tomboy? I'm actually not. Su oops. I'm not super familiar with myself. I believe there's one thing I always miss. We'll do the, the DLC breakers too because we haven't seen enough of these. We've seen, you know, the the what the, the fucking uh, Mega Buster that time anyway. And that will be good. Yep, that'll work. Okay. <coughs> we'll go ahead and pop in here to the void. So uh, the void is the training area. As given to you pretty much immediately after you do the prologue, you're allowed to do the void and uh, just kind of practice on any of the enemies that you come across. So yeah, pretty good. So, Rawhide, in case I haven't shown it off. You keep mashing the circle button, it makes it to where it does a combo. There's a secret combo. Which is my best my grab. There's that. The game doesn't ever tell you about that. And then this... Breakage. You 
can do that to relatively huge Tomboy. enemies, so that's pretty good. Tomboy. Makes it to where your uh, sword and gun are both supercharged when you fight with them. But you can't lock on, so... I'm gonna keep this matching behind with here. Smash. You can't exceed in this either, so that's good if you lock on and try to... That's not lock on a triangle, sorry. Oh, yes, it is. So, yeah, full lock on a triangle combo. There's not lock on in the air. Can I DC while I'm doing this? Yes, I can. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So, interesting thing to note as well whenever you're fighting is that uh, all of the GT effects, like the, the GT strength increases, don't actually amount to anything in terms of combining them with the Devil Breaker. They do, but it's a marginal um, uh, increase whenever you're using it in, in combination with the Devil Breaker. So we're gonna gun... We can aim and fire a pretty hefty bullet at enemies. charge version. There's a way to supposedly make it to where you can fire off a really strong shot. Now that ain't it. The breakage for the tomboy makes it to where it uh Gives it to you for a certain for a number of time, but you can be smacked around and you don't have to worry about it healing or it coming off or it breaking. So there's the, the trade off there. Uh, there it goes. <laughs> Let's just go to this for a sec because I did forget how this works. Hello, scapegoat. Oh, okay. Battery exploiter, jockey, blah, blah, blah. EX shot. EX shot air. Is that it? Blue eyes and hearts, so let some fire shot with even more penetrating power, able to shoot through multiple foes at once. EX charge shot. Okay, so I thought there was a way that you can uh, use a stupidly powerful EX shot, but that's just not the case. Can't fire in the air though, which is cool. Oh boy. Right. So yeah, it also you know, has a, a pretty high amount of damage. And the over the shoulder camera is kind of doesn't do that as Maybe kind of just continue to wall bang just to do if you want to. Pasta Breaker <laughs> uh, is interesting. It uses the. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> it uses Punchline's thing, which is just the most silly. And yes, it cycles your breakers as you come across them. So, uh, yeah, if there was ever a setup for you to do with that, you can do it if you want to. Doesn't do any damage hardly, though. Break age for this one. Oh, you! Keeps prop up in the air, and it does not change your. Uh, it does not cycle your stuff, so that's pretty all right. It can keep you propped up forever. But I mean, it's not. Buster arm was seen doing that. Sweet Surrender uh, is literally a vibrator. <laughs> when
when you are in combat and you use the normal action for it, it will slowly heal you. In this state, it can be broken, so fair warning. Its break gauge will give you a large burst of healing in case you didn't want to fuck with it for very long. And then, uh, pretty sure you'll be able to the Mega Buster. Shooting authentic energy wind. Cool. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and swap over to another character now. Player select. Yep. Just about done here with all of the uh, show off things. V's is going to be tiny, and Dante's isn't super in depth uh, because I've basically shown all that I wanted to with Dante originally. So we're gonna go ahead and hit, do his super because otherwise you all wouldn't be able to see it. <clears throat> And we'll just go ahead and go. Ideally, you would want a regular full custom whenever you're going into uh, the void, just so that you can fuck around and you know with all the guns and stuff. <laughs> I shouldn't need to tell anybody that, but you know. Okay, so Dante, I've already showed off everything that I can with uh, things like Devil Fear and SDT and stuff. In the void, I have also installed a mod to make it to where I can turn on and off SDT it whenever I want to. So yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, it mimics the effects of the triple S skill, so that's pretty cool. Uh, there's really not much with Dante that I can show off. <laughs> I can. I made a mod that uh, throws a pizza instead of Dante's Rose, so that's super entertaining. <laughs> I never actually used it for whatever reason. <laughs> never taken this mod off either, it's super funny. Um, s neat thing that the game doesn't tell you about as well. Do it. Dang. Please. If you hold the gunslinger button while you have uh, the dual Kalina and out, you can leave them both, or sorry, you can leave one on the ground and uh, just have it kind of running around unequipped with one breaker. Sorry, with one uh, Kalina and. <clears throat> Which there's voice lines for that. I don't know why it's working. Sorry, why it's not working. Oh, probably because I have a regular full custom and literally all the guns with me. Well, damn. Okay, I can fix that because that is the whole thing. I wish I could just switch my weapon load out, but whatever. Okay, let's do Dante and then Super and then Yep. I wouldn't assume you got the goods on you, do you? Oh, that's the guns. Yeah, that'll work. Yep, that'll work. <clears throat> it freaks out because it's like, uh, you are not fixing to duplicate coming to ends. That's not how this works. <laughs> okay. Eh, two is overkill anyway. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> so you can just use one coming and if you really want to. Which isn't super useful. But I mean, in case you, you know, just want to go with less landing oh, life for an attack. And of course, you can pick it back up. Walking all over it. Walking back over it, I should say. One laser for good measure. Get him, girl! Good 
try that at home, dudes. <laughs> Good. Okay. And then we'll wrap it up with one last thing. Good because it's about time for me to hit the hay. I'm super tired. Uh, urgency for me is fine. Okay, so as I was saying, if V had the ability to, like, kind of just have more devil trigger or something, like, than the other characters, or had some sort of effect with his DT that made it to where, like, he could better utilize it or gain it faster or something, he would be a much, like, a, mu a much more interesting character for me to use because it would be about resource management. Um, which it kind of is in regards to your familiar's health and everything already, but, you know. Uh, here I'm just gonna show off that no. if you really wanted to... It's your turn. Security makes it to where you can infinitely give your familiar's DT. Yeah, DT, and that's amazing. Awaken now. As well as just being in, you know, DT selling that hair. Pin him to the wall. Naturally, this is the best one. Thus endeth your requiem. <laughs> Objectively speaking, these taunts are the best. <laughs> Going. So yeah, good times, quite fun. Alright, so the only things that uh, I'm really, really missing are, like I said in the, the part before, Bloody Palace, because I can't record it. Uh, I can't do playable Virgil. I wish I could. That'd be awesome. Well, let me hit with this Virgil. <laughs> this screen keeps changing, by the way, whenever you go back in and out of it, so that's cool. Uh, as another little detail. Uh, last bit of trivia, I guess, is that, uh, Yurizen's voice and Virgil's voice are the same. Uh, Yurizen does have a heavy voice filter on, but, uh, you can look at uncorrupted voice lines for, uh, Yurizen, and they're actually just Virgil's voice, which I think is a crazy neat detail that they totally didn't have to do. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna just assume that that's it. I could show off secret missions, but I don't really care. A lot, all the secret missions are pretty easy to do. And the one that I noted, uh, where you should be Dante and you should have some SBT ready when you go into that mission anyway, uh, is the only really hard mission that you get. If you can't get it now, get it later whenever you're in NG+, making it super, super easy. Um, trivial, even, because of all of the... Uh, options you have for movement or combat or whatever it may be <clears throat> and yeah uh also this is a thing if i can show it here game options no customize cutscene uh if you have the deluxe edition you can change the uh cutscene type uh which is pretty funny. It makes it to where you can do the, yeah, the, the live action cutscenes, uh, which you can watch all of those separately. Those are entertaining. They're poorly done kind of concept things. Uh, all the devs are in costume for the characters, mimicking all the actions and how sh uh, stuff should go. And I just threw it into the game because it's funny. And yeah, you can also do NPC costume screen here, which I, I guess I can do. DX color, original color. Original, DX. Original, DX. Uh, 
original EX. Uh, I don't know about any of the references to the characters other than EX Trish is probably her Gloria disguise from DMC4. Yeah, anybody else I wouldn't really get. I don't think any of them yeah, really makes sense. Oh, uh, maybe Lady could be Arkham, her father. Yeah, that, that could be a whole thing just because of the matte black. But, you know. Alright. That's gonna go ahead and end it for uh, Devil May Cry 5 as well as... Well, this recording, I should have done that in reverse order, but whatever. Um, yeah, again, thank you everyone who is watching. Thank you to the mod creators. Thank you to Capcom for coming back and making, you know, reviving this game series because it desperately, desperately needed it and come, making all the, the DMC fans come out of the woodwork. Just fantastic. Everything is so... It's good. Just, it's been great. I, I loved recording this for you all, and it was... Uh, a good way to get back into the swing of recording things and stuff. Uh, what's to come after this? I don't actually know yet. I know I have a week to figure it out and uh, maybe longer. You know, as the week goes on, we'll, we'll plan for it, see what happens. In any case, uh, I have been Prince Mouse. Thank you all so much for watching. Like, comment, favorite, subscribe, share, you know, the video, do whatever you can, whatever you want. So it's, it's all good. Um, have a good one and goodbye.